Exactly. So with that being said, and it's damaging the DNA, what, what would be some key factors? What can we do to help repair DNA? Yeah, I mean, this is exciting. This is what I get excited about because we're in this really uh, era of, of stem cells and biohacking and anti-aging. And we're getting to a point where there's so much out there that we can do that wasn't available to us before mm -hmm. uh, that we as a simple man, you know, can do. And so the first thing that I want to share, because people don't know this, when we think about the old free radical theory, they said, well, there's one solution. We need antioxidants because the antioxidants will donate an electron to the free radical so it becomes stable again. Mm -hmm. And that's still correct. But let me expand on that because there's actually something much more exciting. When we have DNA damage, we actually have an innate DNA repair system. We have a system in our body that repairs damaged DNA. It's called the ART D1 system. Nobody cares what those letters stands for. <laughs> but it's a system of 17 enzymes that basically identify and censor DNA damage. And then they go to that DNA damage and they create a matrix and start repairing it. We have that system. Our body knows how to repair it. But just like I said before, uh, you know, many of our systems don't work because we don't put our body in the right conditions or the system doesn't have the nutrients or the fuel to make it work. So this specific DNA repair system that we have requires fuel. The fuel for that system is NAD+. I know many of listeners heard about NAD+. Now, NAD+, basically, is one of those um, compounds or molecules that is crucial in DNA repair, but also optimal mitochondrial function, gene expression, uh, epigenetic modifications, etc. right? The research is all there. Now, that happens to be the fuel for this repair system. Now, the reason why it doesn't work for most of us, because we don't have that NAD plus available, so repair systems simply can't work. So how do we get enough NAD plus in our system? Well, there's a few things that we can do. We have to have a low EMR lifestyle. You know, we've been talking about it because the EMR will deplete NAD plus. So we got we to gotta do those four steps to mitigate the exposure to EMR, which will not... Uh, exhaust our uh, reservoir of NAD+. Plus. That's number one. Number two, uh, there's a few precursors to NAD+. Plus. For example, tryptophan has been shown to increase levels of NAD+, plus, but even better, niacin. Niacin is a precursor to NAD+. Plus. So those are two supplements or those are two compounds that you can find in certain whole foods too that will help, you know, produce our body NAD+. Plus. Another thing that has been shown to increase NAD plus in our body is resistance training, strength training. So yes, going to the gym, not cardiovascular, but strength training increases the levels of NAD plus uh, in our body. So besides that, there's NAD plus supplements. Make sure it's a high quality one, or you can get regular IVs of NAD plus. So many different ways, but it's crucial to get any, enough NAD plus in our body so our body itself can repair DNA that's damaged. So that's step number one. Number two, there's another important compound, and this is all recent research, but it's very exciting. It's called NADPH. And NADPH is basically the battery of our cells. A lot of people say it's mitochondria. Mitochondria are our energy factories producing the ATP, but the battery, the, the, the way our uh, cells electrically keep doing its functions is fueled by NADPH. It's basically an electron reservoir. Now think about antioxidants. When they, we, we take antioxidants, we eat wholesome foods and, and uh, fruits and vegetables, and we're trying to get antioxidants in our body because we realize they can neutralize free radicals. It's a great concept. But when an antioxidant gives one free radical, the electron, the antioxidant is done. It only can do it once. Mm -hmm. But imagine we have an electron reservoir and when the antioxidant gives its electron, we can give that same antioxidant another electron and we can keep on doing that. Do you see how exponentially now we can have a much greater effect on keeping free radical damage in check? So yes, we need these antioxidants, but we need to fuel those constantly with electrons. And that's why we need to keep the NADPH levels in our body high. How do we do that? Same thing, low EMR lifestyle. Um, 
molecular molecular hydrogen h2 uh, some of your listeners probably heard about that too they usually come in tablets that's what i have uh, mm -hmm. and you put them in water and you drink it because h2 inhibits nox and nox is the enzyme that breaks down nadph so by getting your h2 on a daily basis you prevent the breakdown of nadph so molecular hydrogen uh, is important um, what else? Uh, stimulating the NRF2 pathway. We don't have time to go into that, but there's a whole wholesome food list that will stimulate that pathway, which again, you know, increases your NADPH levels. Not eating three or four hours before you go to bed. So early dinner, no snacks after. That saves an amazing amount of NADPH in your body. So again, we have many strategies to keep up our NAD+, plus, the fuel for the repair system, and the NADPH, our electron reservoir. If we keep those two at high levels in our body, we're going to have an amazing repair of all the cells that are damaged oxidatively or due to EMR and toxemia. So that's an enormous strategy that we can simply implement. Besides that, Sean, I would say there's many therapies and natural compounds on the market now that would help with DNA repair and when reversing aging. You know, talk about stem cells, exosomes. Uh, we can talk about compounds like Moringa, peptides, peptides uh, thymus, uh, biocitrate, uh, astaxanthin. And I'm just thinking, I can name up so many compounds, natural compounds that have been proven scientifically to have those benefits on our DNA, our mitochondria, and have anti-aging properties. Uh, stem cell shockwave therapy, hyperbaric chamber, our anti-aging bed company where I buy the covers from, they now have a very good hyperbaric oxygen chamber for home use. Mm -hmm. uh, so many, many things out there that people should look into to really continue to repair and renew our tissues, our cells, and our organs. Mm -hmm.